This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger. This is the Tiger Financial News Network. 10 a.m. market update. Dow's up 226 at 33,533 after a really two ugly, ugly candles. But what's fascinating is the nine period moving average still hasn't crossed negative. And that tells you the strength of this particular indicator because it tells you there's, in, there's still residual strength, at least for the moment, until it crosses negative. So we're watching this closely, looking at the S&P. Same thing. S&P is up 32 at 4,088. Hit the 50 period moving average as well. The Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line. Now it's bouncing a little bit, and the 9 period moving average is close to turning down, crossing pink, negative. Hasn't done it yet. Look at the QQQ. QQQ is trading at 315.37, up 350. And that's with the, all the news. Yesterday was Chipotle, and today it's uh, uh, Meta. All, all of these are part of the, the S&P and the Qs, actually. <clears throat> What happens is you've got 315.45 up 350, and it's now slightly above. The, the It went pink yesterday, the nine period under the 40, but there's a nice bounce today. It could reverse again. Look at the weekly charts in a rectangle here, doing quite nicely, actually. IWM, Russell, 2000, uh, down uh, up a dollar at 172. It doesn't look very good. Now, this is going to be very interesting because gold is pulling back a little bit, down five at 1990. As I said, I think it's in a consolidation phase. We're starting to make lower lows and lower highs, and that just makes this whole area here. The key support will be initially at 1970, and the 1950s, we'll see what happens there. The dollar is attempting some kind of a rally here. It's up. Oh, something's wrong here. It says it's up four at 101.68. Anyway, it's at 1.168. It's up a little bit. I'm not sure where that number comes from. But, um, yeah, it's trying to rally. And if the dollar actually manages to get to the 102.78, 103 area, over the next two weeks, that's going to, I think that could impact the market, but this is a, a bounce for now. Bonds are right now. Bonds are down sharply as the yields are going up. Remember I said rectangle formation and the 200 period moving average resistance at 132 and a half. That is, that's potent. And we're looking at crude oil. Crude oil is trading up just a little bit. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Out. Check out my on Wednesday this coming week for subscribers to my opening call. We've got a webinar coming up. It's going to be really important.